Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Ross. You want that? Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. We're going to suntan, put some fish. Now we're off. Go have a feed. <laughs> I definitely see myself living here when I'm all done. Do it! Ty's land, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've been coming here for like 13 years and it's one of my favourite places to train. I find it better for me to be away. Less friends, less temptation, and the weather's good for, uh, <laughs> for my body to lose weight. <laughs> the years I've formed a bit of a relationship with the Hickman brothers. They just opened Bank Town Muay Thai MMA. Great setup. An all brand new facility and come down, show some love and give it a crack. Bank Town, baby. I, I train the same every fight. I don't need to learn how to fight. I just need to get fit. Let's go guys, let's go. Ten reps on your feet. Let's see the hand, let's go. Ten knees side, let's go. I know the trainers here. Always good to be around familiar faces. Catch up, motherfucker. <laughs> I should be in Hollywood, honestly. <laughs> I focus on myself. That's my main key. As long as I'm um, prepared mentally and fit enough to fight the rounds, fights a fight. I've had a few fights now, so kind of used to it. Muay Thai, I love stand up, I love learning. I don't know, I do my different. Life. All the way up to fight week, you know, I'm just a student. I just get told what to do and I'm just a worker. I do try and learn a few new little things that I can take into battle. But that I keep on the, on the D loads. But I'm Bam Bam, I always come to fight and uh, I'm always going to bring it, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's not all smiles and laughs. It's very tough. Running is one of the only things that kind of drops my weight. <laughs> yeah, fat people problem. I believe that strong legs will always carry you through the fight. My scooter struggles to get up the big Buddha when I'm on it, so I was definitely struggling, but um, it's a great challenge and it definitely gets the sweat going. The big Buddha. <laughs> well, this is twice this week and that's a record, so... <sighs> I'm not trying to beat records anytime soon. See Thailand open again, you know what I mean? It's such a great place. It's good people. Give me a cup. What's this guy? <laughs> I try to surround myself with good people all the time. Even if they're not fighters, you just want people around that encourage you and they want the best for you, you know what I mean? No one really likes the kids. I try to go fishing when I can. I love fishing, I love being on the water. Even if I don't catch fish, I just like being out there. I don't know, it just relaxes me, I suppose. If the wind catches on the line, I'm going hard. <laughs> you see that? Good vibes and positive people, and I do the fighting myself. Party! Everyone knows that I like to party and I like to drink, but Party's party, work is work, and this is the biggest fight of my career. The fight was through a gun. It's pretty much self-explanatory, I think. When I beat him, I have to have a shot at the title. Here we go. I'm definitely one of the most exciting fighters in the heavyweight division and probably the UFC. I can knock anyone out in the world. That's the confidence you should have as a fighter. I'm coming to prove people wrong like I have my whole life. It's nothing new for me, you know what I mean? I'm taking over now. That's 
kind of my story. It kind of explains people from where I'm from. Bam, bam, from Western Sydney, baby. We're kind of the people who are not meant to make it. When you do well, you know, it's a bit of a kick up the ass to everyone, you know, and a bit of a f you, so it's good. I love it. It's why I do it. From humble beginnings, uh, going back home and going back to the area and seeing everyone, you know, it always is that extra drive for me. Home is home, you know what I mean? Uh, it's always good to go home. And obviously my son's there. He's five years old now, so he's kind of gets the gist of it. He still tells me that John Cena will bash me. I don't think he understands that point yet, but I tell him that I will give them a hiding. <laughs> and he gets angry. <laughs> He'll be there in Paris. And this is going to be his first ever event. A few more Aussies can fly now, and the world's opening up a bit, so it'd be good to have a bit of a crowd there in, uh, in Paris. Oh! At the end of the day, this is history, not just for me. It's history for Cyril, history for the UFC. This is going to be the first UFC event in France. It's been illegal there for many years, so I'm just blessed to be a part of that. It's something that I can walk away from at this sport at the end of the day and say, first ever UFC fight in Paris. That was me, you know what I mean? I did that. I'm not coming to tap Cyril Garn out, that's for sure. I'm coming to take his head off. It's his backyard, everyone wants to fight in their own backyard, everyone wants to have that home crowd advantage, but then again, I suppose, the pressure's on him and his team. Like I said before, I'm gonna come ready to fight. My prediction is Bam Bam with a knockout <laughs> and a shoey and a European summer. <laughs>